What's up, motherfuckers? Welcome to another episode of What I Got, March 13th. Whoa, it's fucking Monday. Bright as shit out here. My name is Eddie Law, this is What I Got. It's because we're talking about uh, UFC Fortaleza. Or Fortaleza, how do you say that shit correctly in Brazil? Uh, headlined by Vitor against Gastelum, Mr. Kelvin Gastelum. And um, look, it went like I expected, right? I mean, I expected that shit. People, other people were like, Vitor's gonna get him, he's gonna sub him or something like that. No, it's not gonna happen. Kevin Gaslam is a different beast when he's actually on weight. You know what I mean? When he's at 170, he kind of sucks. He kind of, you know, diminishing returns and all that shit. But um, the way Vitor got knocked out, man, it's over. Why is he calling for a League of Legends, man? Now he's talking about video games and shit. Like, come on, man. It's over. You know? And uh, look, I'm not one to, say, to tell any fighter, look, retire. I am one to say, like, you sure for, you for sure don't ever headline another car. I can say that shit. As a consumer of the product, right? We can say that, right? Because I don't think we can tell any any athlete when, when he should hang it up. You can hope for an athlete to hang it up so they don't get you know further damage or embarrass themselves further or whatever. But but it's uh, very difficult to actually say you know they you, know, you should retire because they don't have it no more because if they feel like they have it, they kind of you know they have that right to fucking continue. God damn, it's bright as fuck out here. Yeah, I'm like, and, and I know what you're saying, man. And, and I would if I was him, I'd do the same. You know, but he's a guy that has a lot of pride and shit, so. He's, uh, he's, he's probably not gonna do that. He's probably gonna fight out his contract and then call it a day. But he wants, like, a League of Legends and all this shit, and a leg- probably wants a Legends belt and a bunch of other stuff, so. Hey, look, man, uh, Vitor wants a belt. It's what it is. He's gonna keep asking for it. Um, imagine if he, if he'd have won that fight, though. He'd be like, I want a title shot. I want Michael Bisping. Don't duck me, bro. Bisping ducking Vitor, bro. Uh, Bisping ducking everybody. Yoel, Jacare. He'd rather fight GSP on a money fight, knowing he might get, you know, he might get beat. But at least he'll get paid. So, look, I can't knock any fighters who wanted to get paid whatsoever. Anyway, uh, Co-Main was, um, what was the Co-Main? Shit. It was one of those fucking nights where I was just that, that damn tired. I had my nephew for a couple days, so. Um, well, yesterday for sure, for the entire day. But, uh, I was tired as shit Saturday. So it was hard, it's hard to pay attention to that basically anything. Um, what the fight was was stuck out to me. Kevin Lee's a bad motherfucker, man. Kevin Lee's a bad boy. Taking out Chernola the way he did. You can't fuck with that dude. Uh, oh, the Betch Cohea fight. That shit was a trip. Uh, I thought Marin Renell won. And I think Brazil was like, instead of giving, you know, handing uh, Cohea a legit, ridiculous win, let's just call it a draw. But whatever the fuck that was that she did, that, that half ass twerk bullshit, right after the fight was over, come on. That was, that car was a pretty good fight night. Yeah, look, for being free, for sure. For sure, it was, it was pretty good. I mean, like I said, I enjoyed it. I was, I was just so tired, I don't remember a lot of it just because it got off the top of my head right now. Um, plus, I took my nephew out to uh, this thing called Dinosaurs Unleashed in Phoenix. It, it goes everywhere, but it was, it was here yesterday. And, um,. And he, you know, he had a blast and everything, but he also expended a lot of energy. It was me chasing him, his ass around, taking him everywhere. So now I'm fucking tired, even today. So, Betch Cohea got no ass to twerk. Betch Cohea got a massive ass, dude. Like, you can't say she got no ass to twerk, just because it don't match the, you know, the face. Don't mean she got no ass. She tried to twerk. She just don't know how to twerk. That was awkward. That was some awkward, awkward gyration, whatever the fuck you would call that. Um. What are the fights that stick on that card? I can't remember right now off the top of my head. Uh, oh, Edson Barbosa is a bad boy. That Benio Darius Barbosa fight lived up to my, my expectations. I thought for sure it'd be, it'd be some wild shit. And it was some wild shit. And uh, Barbosa landed that sniper. That sniper ass fucking knee knocked him out. Hey, thanks for asking, Sean. Yeah, Oliver's great, dude. Growing up strong, four years old. Um, he was on spring break this last week, so he goes back to school today. And so I got to hang, hang with him quite a bit. Um, but he's great, man. Great. Thanks for asking. Yeah, but uh, Barbosa landed that nasty knee on Darius and ended his night something nasty. That was crazy. And that was a good fight overall. They were they were trading. Those dudes, those dudes were trading pretty good. That knee KO was dirty. Why is it dirty? Oh, dirty. Okay, I know what you mean. Yeah. No, it was fucking crazy. Dude went... Hey, 
you can't. I don't know how he shot in like that. And then Barbosa just literally just threw his knee as hard as he could, popped him. That you know he prepared for that, right? Because that was some fucking pre-planned shit. It was like a switch hit in his head. Like I seen this before. Boom, knock him. Um, it was sick. Shogun Hua, that's what it was. Shogun knocking out Vianti. If anybody was surprised at that, uh, come on now. Four years old, he's a big boy now. He needs to be he, eating steak and training jits like Uncle Eddie Law for sure, man. One of these days. Still early, man. I'm just getting my ass up. Says Mike. <laughs> Yeah, man, uh, Oliver's not ready to take instruction yet. You know, it's weird, like, um, boys, and of course we know this shit, right? Boys, we, we just, we just wild out to where, you know, we can't really take instruction until like six or seven, like actually sit there and listen, um, and even then we fucking fuck, you know, fool, fuck around the whole time, you know? So he's not ready to take instruction yet. Him and I mess around, he knows how to do rear naked chokes, he knows how to do arm bars, he knows how to do, uh... He knows how to throw his legs over for, for, for a triangle. He doesn't uh, necessarily know exactly how to finish it, but still. He knows a couple of things that I taught him. Uh, him and I, just we wrestle around all the time. This is it's all we do for fun. Um, and it's funny because he, he knows the difference. Like, it, he knows what he's going to you know, what the day entails when he hangs out with me. He, like, if, my bro, if my brother takes him out or you know, hangs out with him, it's you know Mario Kart and all sorts of shit, sit around, play, you know, maybe you know, help his, you know, he helps my brother work on cars or he thinks he does. And whatever it comes with me, it's you know, running around, you know, playing with the dog, playing you know, running, you know, playing, kicking the ball back and forth, and then you know, he calls it fighting. You know, let's fight, let's fight. He's like, all right, let's fight. And he puts his hands up, and I put my hands up like mitts, and I catch. So it's pretty cool. Um, anyway, so Shogun knocking out Beyonce, I fully expected, fully expected. I thought it was gonna be a submission, but I fully expected him to beat Beyonce because Beyonce is just a meat bag, in my, in my opinion. And I know that's not that being disrespectful whatsoever. That's how the UFC uses that guy. If you see the way they book Beyonce, they never book him in like a fight where you're like, yeah, okay, that's, that's a legit fight. They always book him in a fight against someone he, he should be able to beat. You know what I mean? Or, or he's in there to be a, a punching bag. And it fucking sucks. You know, but the guy's, in my opinion, the guy's not UFC caliber. He needs to get, you know, get, get, work on something. That fight had no blocking at all. None at all. They were just going. Shogun, meanwhile, that dude, I mean, come on, dude, come on, you and Vitor need to have a, need to have a chat, talk to each other, come in an agreement that you're both uh, not main event guys anymore, you know what I mean, of course, Shogun actually gets the win, so, you know, what are you going to do, um, what other fights that I want to talk about before we cut this off, uh, I can't think of anything, um, oh, well, whatever, let's move on to some other shit, uh, I don't know why Michael Bisson is still talking about Nick, Nick Diaz, um, I'm assuming Nick Diaz must have said something or someone's throwing out the, the, you know, Diaz out there to fight Bisping. And Bisping's like, win a fight at some point, bro. It's like, dude, Mike, shut the fuck up. Shouldn't you be focusing on GSP? You're fighting one of the greatest to ever do it and, you, and, you, and you're too busy talking shit. Dude, stop. You know what I mean? Of course, Michael Bisping's going to be like, ah, fuck you. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. First of all, quit drinking, buddy. Okay? Focus. Focus. By, by the way, Bisping's going to show up ready to fight. Please believe that shit. That dude shows up ready to fight. You know, whether he drinks or not in his off days, it doesn't matter. That dude's ready to fight every time. And I fully expect him to be very competitive against GSP, maybe even beat him. Um, as we get closer to the fight, I'm going to make my pick. But as, as of right now, I think I think Mike Bisping wins. But never know. I mean, GSP might, might just take him down and hump him for five rounds. Um, oh, the other fight. Joe Soto against... Uh, uh, do you see it for Amiga or who see it for Amiga? God damn, they got bloody. If you guys missed it during the fight, there was a headbutt, a clash of heads, and uh, uh, Joe Soto he got this nasty gash on his head. And he was, it was squirting out like he was on top in top position, I think in side control on top of Formiga, and it was like dri- like spraying out of his head. It was insane. Yeah, exactly, dude. It was fucking crazy, Mike. Um, blood everywhere. And here's the funny thing. When you're on, uh, when when it, when, uh, when, uh, when it's a pay-per-view card, they don't really give a shit about blood, right? When it's like a Fox or an FS1 card, they give a lot of shit. If you remember, uh, Joe Rogan actually put out and talked about it on his podcast that in a, on a Fox card because they're so worried about the blood, they'll they'll like spray paint the uh, the canvas to get rid of the blood. That's how fuck, that fucking worried they are about blood. Which is funny that they got in bed with a cage fighting organization or promotion. And they're afraid of blood on TV. Go fuck yourselves. You know, FS1 just try to mop it up a little bit. And it didn't work very well because you saw blood the rest of the night. So, uh, but that's how they work. You know, it's, it's weird. And, um, as, as you know, as fans, we're just like, dude, we kind of expect blood and shit. 
you know, especially the Just Bleed fans. Um, but, uh, but, uh, you know, everyone else is like, oh, no, blood, no, fucking shut up. Don't watch if you can't say in blood, it's what it is. Um, what else we got? Yeah, yeah, but Joe Sawyer's a bad motherfucker, man. He did help him at the end, though. Yeah, Mike, I was, just, hey, I was, I was thinking about that right now. He helped him at the end. Uh, it was funny, because I was, I was watching at a bar, and I was watching just with a couple friends. Oh, one of my friends at one of my room, and actually, and, and she doesn't know very much about. She's like starting to learn more about MMA and everything, but she doesn't know much about it. And I'm while we're watching it, and he humps him. I'm like, oh shit, he humped him. And she's like, oh, I thought that's what I saw. And then everyone around us at the bar was like, oh shit, he humped him. Like it was funny as hell. Uh, it was one of the funnier, the funnier uh, parts of the whole uh, event, really. Um, yeah, so that was a sick fucking fight for sure. The whole night was pretty good. Um, so, can I, I was, what the fuck, he actually helped him, yeah, dude, yep, yep, fucking, that was funny shit, uh, is it Oliveira, Alex Oliveira, I forgot which Oliveira won, whatever, Cowboy Oliveira beats Tim Means, that kind of bummed me out, I thought Tim Means would have gotten that win, um, what are you gonna do, and, uh, as far as fights that I, that I can't remember, it was, it was those, so, you know, anyway, um, a couple more notes here before we go, and Bubba Jenkins got choked out, looked like he was fucking dead at ACB 54, that was fucking crazy. If you haven't seen that shit, just look up ACB54 Bubba Jenkins. He gets caught in like a reverse triangle. Was it, the guy didn't even finish it. He wasn't able to figure for the triangle. He used his own arm. And, oh, he grabbed, basically put his leg around the back of uh, of uh, Jenkins' head, neck and cranked it with his own arm. Just grabbed his own ankle and just pulled on it. Squeezed as hard as he could. Put Jenkins to sleep. The way you finish that reverse triangle is by figure four, you know, figure four in your foot, your ankle, your foot, um, your leg, basically. So, uh, and he couldn't do it, but he got his hand, his arm, his hand, whatever. It was fucking crazy. That was a fun one to watch, really. And uh, Mackenzie Dern getting the win. That, that look, it's great that she got the win. I'm a big Mackenzie Dern fan for many reasons. Uh, I would, uh, I would propose to her on the spot if I had a chance, but. uh Anyway, I think she has a fiance or something. I don't know. That's what I, from what I heard. Anyway, regardless, um, she got the win. Cool. You seen FA free agency so far? Yeah, dude. We'll talk about that in a second. It, it's it's got me a little bummed. Um, but uh, Mackenzie Nair winning, you know, cool. But everyone's like, oh, she's the next big thing. She go to UFC? No, she shouldn't. Not ready for the UFC. Her striking will get her fucked up. This is what it is. Her striking will get her fucked up. It is not there. Not even close. I don't think she's improving and improving a lot. But not ready. If you guys put her in there, she will get tagged up by anybody almost. Unless you put her in there against like somebody with soft pillow hands. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, yeah, real quick, get a free agency. Uh, Cardinals lose Clay's Campbell. They lose Tony Jefferson. They lose DJ Strangers. The three of the five guys that I wanted to keep. They used to keep they kept Chandler Jones, so they're three and one or one and three. But whatever. Um, but Mike Lennon going to the Bears. I'm like, you guys, you guys see this dude? He, he barely starts. And in the starts that he's had, he's had an awful fucking record. Yet you guys pay him money, money like he's a fucking quarterback savior. Get out of here. Um, Alshon Jeffrey to the Eagles was like, all right. Look, they give, they give, they give him once. Yeah, Jeffrey to the Eagles. They give him once weapons now. Like, he got another wide receiver, I think, right? Um, so that was good, and then the Patriots actually made two big moves. They traded their, I think their first and their third for uh, Torrey Smith. There you go. Torrey Smith to the Eagles is big too, and people are like, "Oh, he's an older wide receiver." And I'm like, "Okay, go ahead, go for, go ahead and keep saying that shit." Torrey Smith reads those tweets, by the way, and, and, and sees that shit on Sports Center. Yeah, he's old. Okay, that dude can still fucking play. Don't no hate. Wentz Wentz got two legit weapons, legit weapons, right? And you want to talk about he's like he's fucking like about to retire. Get out of here. Um, but uh, Wentz has got a couple weapons, man. So uh, that's exciting to see. Um, now, of course, we're waiting to see what Adrian Peterson does and all those guys. And, yeah, so we'll see what happens. Cardinals got a couple guys I don't give a shit about. That's the thing, right? If he, as long as he can get that first step on the corner, um, he's gone. And Wentz has a decent arm. He, he can bomb that thing out there if he wants. And, and Wentz can buy him time to get him open. So, you know, now he's got two legit wide receivers, especially in Jeffrey. But I think Smith is underrated. People are gonna, you know, people don't don't uh, people don't um, give enough credit. You know. Uh, what else we got for you to see? We got Nick Foles this morning. You got Nick Foles back? Well, that's good. He knows he's, you know he's he used to be Eagle, so it works out. Uh, what else do they got? Uh, 
who got overpaid? Like, there was a bunch of guys that got overpaid. I can't remember their names. Um, but yeah, and then the Patriots got the court. They, they're getting the corner. They got that big corner from. I forgot where they got him from. Uh, paid him big money from the Bills. Gilmore, there you go. And um, yeah, so I mean, look, NFL agency is on full. The, the first day was nuts. And then right here, right now, we're just getting the stragglers, right? And the stragglers and the big names that are making business and shit. So we'll find out what happens here. Anyway, I got to run, fellas. Uh, thanks for watching. Mike, shout out. Thanks for watching, dude. Uh, we shoot the shit about NFL free agency on Twitter, dude. There's a lot more shit that I can't remember right now that I know as soon as I sit, I'm able to sit down, I'll be able to remember. So hit me up. Uh, Sean, thanks for watching, dude. Uh, Oliver's doing great. So, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's, that's, the, that's the important thing, right? And um, shout out to, the, of course, my MMA advocates, my boys. Uh, Jesse at Sport1983 on Twitter. Dave's at Dave's MMA Brief. Dave's MMA Brief. Yeah. Um, Kirby's at Kirby underscore MMA. Fucking, who else we got? Nick at Nick X Micro. Fucking follow that dude. He's going to be back hopefully sometime soon. Hopefully he gets back on. We'll see. Uh, he's a busy boy. And uh, yeah, follow me at Elo31. Shout out to Represent. You can follow them at Represent LTD on Twitter. All right, you want to get some, some, some fly shit like this Represent hat right here? Uh, so some of the Represent shirts, the Nate Diaz collection shirts and hats and all that stuff. Dude, they got some good stuff over there. Hit up repTheadvocates.com. That's repTheadvocates.com. And get yourself some nice shit, all right? So uh, that's going to do it for me, fellas. And uh, we'll catch you guys uh, tomorrow for another, hopefully, for another what I got. Of course, this show depends on, uh, on uh, what happens and what I got in the morning. So catch you guys later. And uh, good night, wheelchair.